Hello YouTube and welcome to another video of mine and pardon for my voice, I have a bit of a sore throat. <clears throat> yeah. So, what I wanted to talk about is a game that, in July, has popped up in the PlayStation Store, more or less out of nowhere. And, well, it was for free. So, obviously I became interested straight away. I mean, you get stuff for free. It's quite likely to be not good, but there's also a chance that it will be good. <coughs> Rocket League. <coughs> Enough of that. The game I'm talking about is Blacklight Retribution. Well, what is Blacklight Retribution, you might, uh, you might ask. Well, Blacklight Retribution is, and I've got it noted down, a sci-fi futuristic FPS. If that sounds a little bit cliche, I'm sorry, but I played the game and I can't say I'm a master in it, but I became quite interested. So, first question, where does it take place? Obviously it's in the future, by signs it takes place in Russia and China, although the China theme probably comes from BF4. So, it might be China, it might be Japan, I don't know, I don't know the alphabets that they use, but it is certainly in Asia. So, what makes this game interesting? The game has a few um, special mechanics, and one that does not appear in most FPSs these days, although I'm not saying all of them, because obviously I haven't played, is the running mechanic. Well, in Blacklight, you can't just sprint forever like you could in BF4 or Battlefield Hardline. You have to wait down and tap it, or however you want to call it. The other uh, mechanic I want to talk about is the RV, or whatever that thing in the bottom right corner is. Basically, if you press R1, or RB for the Xbox One, and something for the PC, you will be able to see every single person on the map. Of course, this is not unlimited, and it does regenerate very slowly, but it gives you a good idea in which direction you have to head. This helps, especially since Blacklight has no mini-map. This, this can be quite interesting in gameplay, in which I'll talk in a moment. Wow, that transition. The last thing that is pretty um, different is the depot system. Depot is like points. If you play well then you get points and for those points you can buy stuff. These range from health refill to ammo refill to flamethrower to um, RPG to rhino, rhino suit which is basically like a tank. But it is not something cheap and you have to be quite good at the game to get it. Now, the main downside of the game is that being a free game, they have to earn a living, don't they? So, what they did is they made every single weapon in the game payable. Payable. You have to pay real money to purchase green coins, whatever that is, to... Oh my god, I lost my words to be able to buy the gun permanently. Not just the gun, but also the different scopes, uh, or the different attachments, and also some suits. All of this costs real money, otherwise you can loan it for 24 hours, which is what I do all the time for the assault rifle, and I put an infrared scope on it. I have a problem with this. I I understand the guns, but even the optics, seriously, I feel that you could ditch that. The last uh, thing I'm um, thinking of is the game modes. It is not, there is nothing really unique about it. There's classic things like team deathmatch, deathmatch. Deathmatch is quite interesting because you can do it easily 1v1 in a private match and because of the magical thing where you can see all your enemies, you can have some 1v1 interesting combat or 1v1v1, or 1v1v1v1v1v1, okay, stop, Zach. 
Apart from that, there is Domination, uh, King of the Hill, which is basically a camp fest, and there's Onslaught, which is players versus computer. This can be quite fun if you're with two or three friends, but alone it's really annoying. So my ultimate rating of the game will be a 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10 because the game itself is quite fun. The weapons uh, deal ruins it completely, in my opinion at least. I'm not the kind of guy to spend a lot of real money on uh, additional things in video games. But hey, if you're into that sort of thing and you have money to um, sprue around, I guess, well, Blacklight is a game for you.